Hello all four strings violin players, welcome to Pro Am Strings. I'm Henriette and in this lesson I will show you how to play Hickory Dickory Dock. And I'm hoping that by the end of the lesson you'll be confident in how to count your notes and also how to play your notes. Before we start to play this song I'd like to show you how to count it. If you have a look at this red box here at the top of Hickory Dickory Dock you see a new thing that is added to this piece and that is the tide note and the tide note just adds beats together you can tell it is a tide note because this is the same note in both bars so therefore it is not a slur it is a tie and you play all of this on one bow we've got three counts in each measure so we know that the dotted half note equals three counts and we're adding one quarter note to it, so altogether that adds up to four. Now we're not counting one, two, three, four, because we haven't got four counts in one bar. We counted one, two, three, and we say one, because this tied note here is the first count of the new bar. And you come across this tie in this piece here as well. So we're counting one, two, three, one, two, three three one two three one two is the rest so we use this note where you're playing three one two is the shush three one three one two three one mm. three one rest three one rest three one rest three one two 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 three making a habit of counting your pieces at the start before you play them is a very useful tool to get used to counting while you play so i would definitely recommend you take that on board from this lesson let's play the song now and when we play it I'd suggest that you play the fourth finger wherever it comes here on the top line and also the beginning of the second line but obviously here when you play A, B, A you're going to play an open A string. I'll count us in for three. One, two, three. <laughs> Now we're going to retake the bow to just above the heel there. Three, one. Retake the bow again. Retake the bow again. One, two, three, one. Retake the bow again. Long bow here. Retake the bow again. At the end of the first line we've got the tie and you need a long bow and that is the reason why I'm staying at the lower half of the bow for this. You see I'm staying at the lower half because there are tied notes in this piece. Now eventually you can play this a little bit faster like this. One, two, three. and you got a little bit further with your playing. Now if you have, can I please ask you to subscribe to this channel and to consider becoming a member of Henriette's Violin Club and you can see the video explaining what Henriette's Violin Club is popping up in your screen right now. So I very much look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Goodbye.